Okay guys, welcome to the cave. This is it. This is a collection of all the stuff that I've acquired over my years as a pro. One of the things that I was really, really adamant about when I was racing was hanging onto a bike each year, having a couple extra jerseys around so that when the time did come and I finally retired, I could throw it up on the wall. If I was ever having a bad day, I wanted to know what the heck did I do with my life? I'd come down here and check this stuff out and smile a little bit. So we're gonna pull some of this stuff off the wall. We're gonna go upstairs and crank up a fire. Let's do it. cold outside, but it's warm in here. We got the fire going. I brought up some stuff from the man cave, so let's check it out. So first up, I got this 2013 national champ winning Focus Mares here with me. This is the bike that I piloted to my second national championship title, and it's so cool. To me, it has so much significance because my friends and family were all in the stands, and I remember vividly being able to just, in front of that big cycling town of Boulder, Colorado, put my hand up, and I won the race, what we call here in the States, pin to pin, meaning I started at the front and I finished at the front at the end. No one passed me the whole day. I was on excellent form. It's one of those days as a pro that you wish for and it all came together on the day. So I trained methodically for it. I went up to altitude beforehand and I was able to execute. The bike literally hasn't been washed. This is the exact mud on it that was there on the day that I finished. My mechanic, Tom Hopper, boxed it up and sent it back to me the exact way that I finished on it. And for me, this is probably one of the coolest bikes in my collection. Some little cool things that were fun to go through with this was the um, here on the sidewalls, we have a stamp of the American flag that my mechanic Tom put on there to designate that they were my wheel sets when we had the team Rafa Focus. There were a lot of riders on the team, but to designate that these wheels were specifically for my use only, Hopper would put the American flag on them. Another cool thing to talk about was that the night before the national championships, I had been running a prototype one by SRAM setup and the system didn't work any longer. Turned out that we had actually messed up the spacing on it, but we kept dropping chains. And so the night before the race, I said to Tom, dude, I don't feel comfortable with what's going on with the bikes. And he said, neither do I. That's why you're gonna go to bed. <laughs> so I went to bed, I woke up the next morning, and voila, the two by systems were on all the bikes. As you can see here, I ended up making some small adjustments at a place that we had gotten really close to the venue. I went out there, not a single mechanical, I didn't even have to switch your bike. It was slimy and muddy, but it was a perfect day. Something else that's super cool that I got after my first national championship title is this pair of custom all-star Chuck Taylors from Converse. I came home from the race and my wife said, hey, you've got to check out what came on the doorstep for you. I went out there and I looked and Converse had sent me this custom edition pair with the J Pow embroidered on the side. A little note, let's tuck into a little story time here. This says, Jeremy, welcome home and congratulations on a successful cyclocross season. The folks at Converse have been watching your exploits for the past couple of years and are glad to see you wearing Chuck Taylor All-Stars. Off the bike. We wanted to do something special to celebrate your 2012 US Championship title. Please find the enclosed custom Chuck Taylors. I have to say, I never wore them, but it meant so much to me to get that message and what a cool pair of kicks. Oh man, this one, this one broke my heart when it came. After Rafa Focus had stopped, the team had ended, and Rafa wanted to thank me for my time racing as them as an ambassador and as an athlete. And they sent me this custom wool jersey with my name on the front embroidered in. And then the jersey has a lot of significance. It has four gold stars to represent the four national championships that Rafa and I won together. Then on the back, it has one red star. This star represents the Pan American Championship title that I won in 2015. Down on the bottom, it says three of 2011, which is the month that I signed with Rafa. And then on the top, it says Cyclocross OG. Can't say that I'm gonna be wearing this anytime soon, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting it up on the wall. A lot of you will know me from racing cyclocross, but what you may not know is that I did race on the road for 10 years for a team called Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly Candy Company is based up in California and they sponsored the program that I was with for a really long time. This is the last year that I raced for them in 2013. This is a Focus Kayo Evo. And just look at the paint job. It is so cool and it reminds me of, well, 10 great years of memories. Camaraderie with the crew, 
The team environment is so much different than cyclocross. Cyclocross is a very small bubble and you get your crew and you work with them, but on the road there's so many riders that are training and then getting fit and then coming back in. We literally raced all over the world, Asia, Europe, all over North America. I did some of the biggest tours and raced with some of the biggest riders at the time and I just have fantastic memories of it. This bike brings me back and I'm so, so happy to have it downstairs in the man cave on the wall. In 2016, the Cyclocross World Cup came to Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States and as the reigning national champ at that time, I was so excited to be able to uh, show off my national champs kit and race in front of the hometown crowd. This was the bike that I did it on. I raced to a career best sixth place and this bike is red, white and blue down to the ground. Literally from the finishing tape that my mechanics spec from AJ over at VCX Graphics to the custom Physique Aliante red, white and blue saddle, the custom red sidewalls from Francis Marie from uh, FMB, all the way down to the Crank Brothers pedals which are red and blue. This bike has so much and grieves me such a smile when I look at it on the wall. It's definitely is one of my favorites and it's, it's got a little dust on it. It needs to be tightened up. Another really cool piece that we got was from the 2013 World Championships in Louisville, Kentucky. My sponsor at the time, Oakley, took us down to the Louisville Slugger factory and we made custom baseball bats. This one has my name, my signature actually in the bat. They were able to take it, put it onto a stamp and then stamp it onto this bat just as if I was a professional baseball player. How cool is that? We got so much fun like memories from that trip going out there, being in the batting cages, hitting the balls, but going over to Louisville Slugger and getting this custom bat with all the other Oakley athletes at the World Championships. This is just such a cool piece to have in the collection. I never would take anything for granted when I was racing as a pro, and I have to say that this meant so much to me. One of my fans broke these out at the World Championships. Down in the bottom here it says Cyclocross World Championships, Louisville, Kentucky, USA 2013. For the World Championships that came to the United States, a fan brought out over 100 of these and gave them to people around the course. They were waving these flags as we went by. This one sits up in the corner of my studio downstairs that I do all the live calls for the Cyclocross races with. So, if you ever see it, well, now you know where it came from. Another cool piece that I had to break out of the vault, these don't come out very often, are the custom Rafa frog skins. These were Rafa X Oakley frog skins. They were in the custom Rafa Cyclocross colorway. They've got a little Rafa insignia down here on the bottom. All right, they probably don't look that cool right here, but when you had the whole kit on and they matched everything, super pro. I also had a pair of uh, custom National Champ Edition. I got the bag too with the Rafa insignia on the other side. Uh, National Champ Edition Jawbreakers. These were so, so fun to be able to wear and match the kit perfectly. I don't take these out very often either, but I have great memories from them. When you're a pro and you're going from one event to the next, you almost never get a chance to literally look back at anything that you've done. It felt like for my whole career, it was on fast forward through the entire thing. So when I finally retired last year, I stopped, I got the vault together downstairs, I put some bikes in the wall, some jerseys, some things just to remind myself of all the great memories and the things and the places I was able to travel, people I was able to meet and all the cool stuff that I was able to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of the vault. If you did, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what piece you liked the most. If there was something you saw that we didn't talk about. Leave that in the comments too or hit us up on social. Maybe we can talk about it there. Thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you soon.